Welcome to Living on Solar. For the last 20 years, we've been using solar panels like this to generate electricity for our house. We'd like to show you our system and how it works. You've probably seen panels like this along the highway and may have wondered exactly how they work. Well, we thought we would demonstrate what a solar panel does and show the various components that you use to power your house. Photovoltaic solar panels generate electricity when exposed to direct sunlight. The electricity that it produces is similar to that in a 12 volt automotive battery, just not as strong. This is a 110 watt 12 volt DC solar panel. It can directly power small 12 volt items such as a 12 volt fan or a 12 volt light bulb. I'd like to give you a quick demonstration. This is a 12 volt um, brake light from an automobile and these wires are coming from the panel and I had to go in the house because you can't see it outside. Anyway, when I touch the wires together, the light bulb glows. Now how do you go from a 12 volt DC solar panel to a 110 volt AC house? Well, fortunately somebody's already figured that out. And one of the things you need is a charge controller. The charge controller is, is hooked up to the solar panels or a solar panel array and then it's hooked up to a bank of batteries. What the charge controller does is senses the voltage of the batteries and allows them to charge up until they reach a certain voltage and then it shuts them off. And then the other thing you need is an inverter. Now this is an inexpensive inverter that you've probably seen in various stores. But an inverter is connected to the batteries. Uh, in the case of our house, they're a 12 volt battery bank. They take that 12 volt DC and turns it into 110 volts AC. And as you can see, there are regular outlet plugs right there. This is our solar panel array. It is a combination of old and new panels and generates 800 watts. The panels are attached to an adjustable aluminum frame which is secured in concrete. Wired together to provide 24 volts, they are connected to a much nicer charge controller which reduces the 24 volts back to 12 volts. The charge controller is connected to a bank of 6 volt deep cycle batteries that are wired together to provide 12 volts DC. The batteries are connected to a 2800 watt DC to AC inverter which supplies the 110 volts AC that's required for our home. The inverter is connected to our house panel. The electricity of the house is just like that supplied by the power company. What's a typical charge day like? At 9 o'clock our system has received 33 amps of charging and is generating 520 watts. This is the start of a three stage charge to the batteries. At 11 o'clock the batteries have reached what is called the absorbing stage and are receiving 621 watts. At 1 o'clock the batteries are fully charged. 186 amps or 2.6 kilowatts was used to charge the batteries. Our system paid for itself immediately since we purchased a nice property for much less since it did not have power lines close. Our system pays for itself again every seven to eight years. So what do we do with the money we save? We go to Hawaii. Aloha.